What happens in the checkout line may seem routine. But Kroger cashier Kathy Wilking is always looking out for her customers, especially when it comes to scams. At first, when he brought them up, I thought he was buying graduation gifts for his, you know, grandson, you know, graduation time. Kathy's talking about her friend and former co-worker Russell Fleckenstein. He came to her wanting $2,000 in iTunes gift cards. He's 86 years old, a prime target for crooks looking to make a quick buck. I'm your grandson. I'm in trouble. And I need some money. That's the call Russell says he got from a scammer saying his grandson was in jail. <laughs> Kathy says it just didn't make sense. She kept asking questions. And he said, I can't say. And I said, Russell, we're not doing this. Go up and use our phone, call the police. And if they say it's okay, I'll sell them to you. She says, uh, you can't buy these. What the hell? What do you mean you can't buy these? Russell called the police. They told him not to spend a dime. He'd almost fallen for a scam. You see, I've got an elderly mother that's 92, and, you know, could that happen to her? And, and unfortunately, you know, it could. Kathy's quick thinking saved Russell two grand. A priceless good deed. Oh, my gosh, Kathy. Uh, God bless you. you. You really know what's going on in the world today. Kathy says these scams are happening more and more every day, and because of that, they're being trained to watch out for certain signs. Her advice, if it doesn't sound right, it probably isn't. In Sharonville, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.